Hark and well met folks and welcome to the YouTube channel. Today's video is a historical reconstruction of a Viking Age stave church in the game Valheim. We're going to be using all in-game stuff, albeit with cheats and kind of creative mode stuff on, just to kind of save time. But today's example is the Oye Stave Church from Norway, which should be a pretty good example because I looked through some other stave churches and this one seemed like maybe it was the easiest to start with. If you like the video and want to see more historical reconstructions in the future, please feel free to like and leave a comment below and let me know if there's an example you'd like to see. I would love to try and build it for you. Thanks and enjoy the video. To anyone who's watching right now who isn't currently following, feel free to hit the follow button. I'm Chris, I do Archeo Gaming, which is uh, like a a fusion of archaeology and video games and if you liked the sort of stuff I, I didn't mean for that to be like the uwu like the weeb thing i meant that to be like like right here because uh, uh, it's even though it's on this side of the screen I, I i accidentally did the would you like to follow me and i know that's not exactly what i was trying to go for here so yeah i'm not doing this in survival mode because i definitely will not be able to do it um i definitely will not be able to do it in time before my kid wakes up Day drinking is the way to go. I know, but I do have a child. I do have like a human child who I have to look out for. Uh, okay, so we're gonna do a new person on this actually. I'm not even gonna do anything for him because uh... Ah! I can't fit ER. All right, Bjorn the build, doesn't matter. Uh, if, I, if I did actually Bob the builder, it would work, but Bjorn the build is fine. All right, done. Uh, and we're just going to go in. It really does not matter what seed we're going to do. We're just going to do a completely new seed. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to be doing this in creative mode because, like, I just literally do not have enough time to actually build this entire place uh, within this within the time frame if we don't do that. So this right here is what we're going to be trying to reconstruct. This is the Oye Stava, Stavakshersha in Norwegian. I think that's how you say it. It is what is known as a stave church. Stave churches were a late of Viking Age thing. It was after they had kind of become Christianized. More than games, it's learning! Exactly right, Patchy. All right, I'm gonna eat some eggs. I hope everybody brought, I hope, I hope everybody brought food. This is the brunch stream, so food is part of it. So guys, this figure here, by the way, who's like flying me in and dropping me off, that's probably Valraven, which was, for those of you who watched my Senua's Sacrifice playthrough, Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, Valraven was in that game too. It's just like a raven god, uh, god of illusions and magic and stuff. I've talked about it at length, but this symbol down here, the Vegvasir, I actually posted a video about it on, um, on TikTok, I think, and I'm probably gonna put it on YouTube pretty soon. That's actually not a Viking symbol, but they put it in the game anyway, because a lot of people do that. Okay, there's a nice open field, literally do head, do, do straight. So I'm just gonna fly over here. Look at this. Okay, it's a little bit bumpy, but we should be able to deal with this. So I've talked about this before, but this is actually based on a real thing here. Um, this whole this whole thing here where they took the where they took the stones and they made it into a ship shape. That's an actual thing that they did during the Viking Age. It was a, um, they, they called them ship monuments, and a lot of times they would actually include or cap off at the tops um, rune stones. And they were monuments that they would use to kind of honor uh, honor people. It was like a burial, um, uh, a burial monument or some kind of remembrance model. That was, uh, it was really cool. Something in the game that's really neat is that if you come in here with a pickaxe and you dig it out, you're probably gonna find a couple skeletons and definitely a treasure chest. Because they used to, because in the game they bury, um, they bury stuff in here. So if anyone plays Valheim and you see those ship burials, um, be sure to dig it up. So I have the hoe, so now I can just level out all of the ground up here. Um, we don't have the mountains in the background. I guess I could, if we want, I could try and find the environmental aspect of it too. Um, try and rebuild the environment around it, but I think that's going to be tougher. So one of the things that I'm trying to look at on this um, on this church is how big it is. All of the pictures that I can find are only from that angle because it's the prettiest angle. It's its best side. It comes from there's the mountain in the background and and the and the water down on the corner there. So that's like the only angle that people ever take pictures of this church at, just because that's that's objectively the best angle. 
All right, let's drop ourselves down there and see if we can see it. There it is. Oh, wow. Okay, good aim. <laughs> I hit it. Spot on. Banger. Of course, this is also the same angle. It's just a facade. Oh, my God. That's the scheme. Okay, so, so looking at it here, um, this is actually... So this is the front angle. So it looks like the back, it just kind of has like a small little thing on the back. I'm assuming that there's not going to be anything else to it. So we're just going to keep it at that. Uh, what I can do is I can probably go up the road a little bit more this way. Ah, the freaking... Side note, though, Norway is absolutely gorgeous. Just like the landscape. I haven't been to Norway, but I've been to Sweden. And just like Scandinavian landscapes are... Oops. Accidentally clicked back into the game. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Ah, okay, here we go. Ah, so one of the things about stave churches that I was worried about when it came to this game that I know I'm not going to be able to do is that they all have curves. So they have this circular butt end, which is, I think, where they used to put, like, the... Sacristy? Is that what they're called? That's where... I'm, I was raised Christian. I don't even know. So it's like this circular... They, the back ends of all of these stave churches kind of have this circle to it. I want to be able to see. Especially, like, at nighttime. So I'm just going to spawn in a million bonfires. Okay, good. So that's, uh... That's something. Let's start getting to it. So we're going to build an entire foundation. Now, based on how uh, this church is looking... It's, we're gonna do just the main front square first. Based on the size of the door in the front, and let me see if I zoom in on this, will it zoom in on the screen up above? No, yes. And then if I zoom in super close, we can look at this. So based on uh, this formation here, I'm gonna say it's maybe just one there. This seems like building a basement in The Sims at times. It really does, it's a nightmare. So I'm going to say, I mean, we could go really nitpicky and I could count the planks of wood and see how many planks of wood it translates to in the game. But what I'm thinking here is I'm thinking two, one, two. So we're going to go five wide uh, for this front part. I think five wide is going to be good. Now, it's set on a stone foundation because, of course, it is. The stone, like, there's no way that you're going to be able to just drop this church on wood and it's going to be fine. So you're going to need to lay a firm, flat stone foundation. And we are going to build it. Uh, okay, based on how this is looking, we're going to do it right here. So, one, two, three, four, five. We're also going to come one out because, uh, once again, the door uh, juts out on this one. So once this foundation is done, we're going to be able to start building the wood on top of it. I'm super happy because I did actually do good hoe work. <laughs> okay, so let's start getting to work on the walls, right? So this is the this is the same deal. The walls are just going to go all the way around it as normal because it is a pretty it is just a square a square a square shape. It's a nice uh, it's a nice pretty straightforward church, all things considered. Pretty close to the middle, but not directly in the middle. So I think that having like foundation corner one two. Three, so f the fourth block in, I think that's probably pretty accurate. So that's where we're that's where we're gonna keep it. Oops. So uh, yeah, the corner two, three, four, and that's going to be a door right there. Doink. And then of course door at the front. Wait, let's go for just like the most accurate here. Can we see what side the door handles on? Okay, so it looks like it swings open, uh, uh, like, on the left. So as you're coming up to the door, it looks like the door handle is on the left. That's not correct. That is. I think that's how it's going to open. Looking at this, it's only one high before the roof uh, on this outer portion here. Now, the reason why I'm using the 26, even though the angle on the actual church is much steeper... The height of the 26 is much more accurate, and I think that it's going to shape-wise look better that way in the end if we do it like that rather than having the super steep wall that comes all the way up because I don't think it's going to look as good. Again, we are constrained by the mechanics of the game when it comes to this, so our best bet here is to just do what we can with what we've got. So let's uh, move on to the next part, um, which is going to be this part right here, just trying to get this front facade going. 
Hmm, we need to basically have this be up on top. So I think that our a good bet here is going to be a wooden half wall. And we're gonna put that right there. And then put this on top of the wooden half. No, okay, we will do a whole wall. And if we want, we can even put it on backwards to kind of give an arrow, like an, a look of more like rugged construction. I think I'm going to do that. That's gonna be pretty cool. And then, hmm. I still don't know if that's what I want. I don't think that it's going to work out mechanically. I'm going to wait until we can get the rest of this walls part put up. So we have, we, knew, we do know the part that we can make work. Uh, ooh, this is going to be tough to see if those will build. Yeah, they, they connect. And then... Yeah, that didn't hold up. So, we'll come from the other side. And I think that by the time we get over here, it'll have enough stability that it'll hold. I don't need that one. See, that's what we learned here. Good, and now that stabilizes all of that. That's actually pretty good compared to this compared to this corner over here. You know, so we've got the slopes and everything coming with the with the the corner coming out of it, uh, which is kind of similar to what we've got going on with this piece right here. Looking at the angle right there, I think that's uh, I th I'm pretty happy with that. The only thing that we aren't able to do. Oh, you know what? We totally are able to do that. Check this out. We're going to take this design and we're going to crank it up a notch. Yeah, we're going to crank this up a notch. This is what it's missing. So this one, there. Now the 45 degree wall on this can embed into that. That is what we're talking about here. And so here we don't need the corner pieces because the corner doesn't wrap actually around um, because on the church, the um, the front end is, is open, whereas down here it is like an actual corner piece. We would use the corner piece there. Um, on this top end, it is like a flat kind of open front, so we're just going to do that. Um, yeah, I just think that it's going to be better if it's... Oh, that's what we can do! And that's, that's what we shall do. That's what we can do, and what we shall do. Guys! This is looking pretty good. I mean, yeah, the top is not as the top is not as sh as sharp a look, but this is looking pretty good. I'm pleased. Let's jump over here for just a second so that we can try and get another angle. Okay, so that is pure open. Oh, actually the wall over here is open too. That's a half wall. Oh, snap. And that's where it picks up again. So that, uh, that is something right there that was pretty cool that we didn't pick up on. Isn't there an inner wall? There probably is, which is going to be something that we're going to do uh, once we get the exterior finished, that's when I'll start working on the interior, and I might actually save the interior for another day, just depending on when my kid wakes up. The The big thing right now is that the front end, uh, apart from the kind of like graded section in there that we can't really do, um, looks really good to me. Um, this whole front exterior, I'm actually re I'm really pleased with all this. Uh, so now we can start working on the butt, um, on the badonka donk of this... <laughs> revered 800-year-old church that I just said had a badonkadonk. 
Uh, but it does. It has a big old dump truck keister back here. Why am I like this? So we got to figure out what we're going to do with the back end of this church. <laughs> God. If I wasn't going to hell before. The first part that we can do is probably, again, straight up just the same that we did on the front end. I need to do that and that. Um, to seal in the outside. Uh, and then, of course, the same thing up here. Half wall in the middle. 45 degree peak right there. <gasps> That's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to utilize the angles and I'm going to have to make it just go crazy. Um, okay, let's see what I can do here really quick. is what I'll have to do. Um, and that is probably the closest that I'm going to be able to get. I'm going to have to have an overlap because I didn't have enough time to do the last angle. So what we will do just to kind of try and make this work is going to be the 26 degree wall. And again, the interior might look scuffed as all hell but the exterior is going to be good, and that's kind of what matters here. Right like that. And guys, we did it. I did not think it could be done, but oh no, wait, actually that looks, that looks crazy. Guys, we actually did it. And with like time coming in just as the baby walks in, uh, I think we managed to do it. If I could do something different next time, I think the only thing that I would do is make it a two to one scale. If I did it on a two to one scale, I could have more wiggle room on the angle, which would make it look steeper and maybe a little bit better. Um, oh shoot, I should be. There. <laughs> um, but uh, when all is said and done, uh, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Um, and I'm definitely going to take screen caps of this and I'm going to put it on Instagram and Twitter and probably Reddit and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty fantastic, uh, as far as that's concerned. Um, but does anyone have any last questions about stave churches or anything Viking related like that before I, before I hop off? Just a couple quick questions if anyone has it, but otherwise I am going to wind down and we'll probably just, we'll probably raid another Valheim streamer. We'll find someone who's playing Valheim and give them a raid. Um, I'm very excited about this, and I'm definitely going to keep this build. I'm going to come back to it because I want to try and see if I can do the interior. They do have some interior pictures, and I think that that would be really good. Uh, other thing that I want to try and improve on is the butt and <laughs> try and see if I can figure out this butt angle a little bit better. Because, um, yeah, that doesn't look quite as on it as uh, some of the other stuff that we've uh, done today. Um, obviously, it's a lot more shallow of a keister on the uh, on the real life one. Uh, and so maybe what I would do on that front is uh, this second wall here is where I would start doing the angle and I could swing the angle in uh, uh, even more right there. And I might come back in and make that adjustment before I do the screen cap because I, I think that idea is probably gonna fix how a lot of that looks. But guys, um, if that's it, then we'll call it right there. So here is our um, Oya Stav Church uh, reconstruction. Um, and again, we don't have the mountain in the background, but in comparison to what we were working with on a reference, I think that looks pretty great. Guys, I appreciate all of you for coming in and hanging out today. Enjoy the rest of your brunch. Enjoy the rest of your days. You guys have been awesome. I've been Roommaster Chris. Nothing up.